I had a super interesting question from Amelia Skova. So thank you, Amelia, very much for your question. And I have decided to make this into an extended video because the question in itself is, should we fertilize our orchids when they're in bloom or should we stop fertilizing when they are in bloom? Now, isn't it lovely to be in a hobby that has so many variables? It is my opinion that in the orchid hobby, there is no single golden rule that can be followed when it comes to any kind of growing culture, method, etc. that can cover all the bases of what an orchid is doing, not doing. And the same applies to a supposed golden rule that could be defined as do not fertilize your orchids when they're in bloom. So I've pulled some examples because I want to show you by examples what I'm getting at when I say it all depends. What you're looking at right now is my Dendrobium Roy Tokunaga that has two new growths almost maturing. These are like winter growths. You can see that they're, you know, already up and leafed out. And I have two more new growths down here, just peeking out, yay, on the right time of year. These will be my spring summer growths, which I can push to maximum potential. So throughout the winter, because of these two new growths, I have been fertilizing my Dendrobium Roy Tokunaga because I'm really focusing on trying to get those growths to grow strong as best as possible based on the time of year. So she hasn't been getting full strength fertilizer because everything slows down a little bit, but she is in active growth. And all the while, she's also pushing spikes and buds. So you see where I'm getting at. Now, we can also say, well, she's pushing spikes and buds and for that reason, we continue to fertilize. She's not in bloom yet, but she will be in bloom. And these two new growths down here will still be actively growing. So in this case, I am not stopping the fertilizer, even though my Dendrobium Roy Tokunaga will be in bloom. And this is where this golden rule is already out the window. Are you gonna focus on the blooms? Are you focusing on the new growth? In my opinion, especially when it comes to the hybrids, which are bred for vigor and more bloom count and longevity of the blooms, new growths will start. And then we think, oh, I'm not supposed to fertilize while the orchid is in bloom. And then what about the new growths? So as a rule of thumb, in my opinion, if there is one, the best way to determine whether the orchid is getting fertilized or not is to see if she is in active growth. And if she is in active growth, and that includes root growth, then it is either time to fertilize, continue fertilizing, whether she is in bloom or not. Now we can also briefly go back to what I mentioned previously. The amount of fertilizer is then something that needs to be determined on a case-by-case -case basis based on grow environment, temperatures, the amount of light the orchid is getting, is it a controlled environment? Is it a greenhouse? Is it just on your windowsill? In my case, I do not have a controlled grow environment. I reduce the fertilizer levels based on how the orchid performs throughout the winter if she is an active growth. But I do make sure that my orchid gets something if she is in active growth, and that includes roots. In this video, I am going to put one disclaimer out straight away. If in future videos, my buds are blasting, it will not be because of the fertilizer. It will be because I moved her away from where she was developing the buds, bringing her out here to film her. So the fertilizer has nothing to do with any possible future bud blast. And I just want to make that very, very clear. Fertilizer will not incur bud blast. Now let's look at another example. Very, very much in bloom is my Rincolalia golf green hair pig. I am fertilizing this orchid at half strength only because of the time of year, clearly in bloom. But look, she's growing a new growth over here. That growth, even though it won't grow to maximum size because of the time of year it is growing, still I want to push it and grow it well. So instead of giving it the full 300 parts per million that I normally would give this orchid when in active growth in the summer, because this growth is growing in the winter, it's getting 160 parts per million simply because it's a little bit slower, but it has nothing to do with the fact that the orchid is in bloom. And speaking of active growth and an orchid in bloom, there are certain orchids that will bloom and the growth has not even fully matured yet. One of those examples is my Lelia Lundii here. 
Another example would be a zygopetalum. In their growth habit, they bloom while the growth is actually growing at the same time and is not mature. So in this example, would also have to be kind of wary not to be fertilizing an orchid that does that. We want growths to mature, to get strong, big, developed roots, all that good stuff that increases the strength and the vigor of the orchid. So you see here Lelia lundii, one bloom is fading, but you see full on active growth everywhere. And there's blooms everywhere where there is an immature growth. If I were not to fertilize this orchid, I could then not push my new growths to the level that they can be pushed. The same goes for an orchid, for example, like a Tolumnia right here. Getting active growth, I've got one growth there and there's another one coming out on that growth there. But we know that Tolumnias have this beautiful attribute of branching their spikes. So there's bloom after bloom after bloom. But we've got new growths. Well, I am interested in the new growths. Do you see where I'm getting at and why I say what I say? It's not a rule of thumb that you don't fertilize an orchid when it is in bloom. The focus should be, is the orchid in active growth? I am not fertilizing my Lelia harpophila. She is in bloom, but that is not the reason why I'm not fertilizing her. The reason I'm not fertilizing her is because she is not actively growing any new roots and she is not showing me any new growth at the base. So again, the blooms have nothing to do with the reason as to why I'm not fertilizing. The activity of the orchid around the base is what is of interest to me. If you're still with me, I really appreciate it. I have one more example to show you. The reason I'm not fertilizing my Fred Clark Yara After Dark Black Pearl is because this orchid is in inverted commas dormancy. A question I ask myself a lot is how can an orchid be dormant and still have blooms? This orchid has been in bloom for the past six weeks. I have not fertilized her one bit, but that again is not because the fact that she is in bloom, it's because she is in inverted commas in dormancy. This being a Fred Clark Yara After Dark Black Pearl, her growth pattern is to drop the leaves, go dormant, but while she's blooming. So the purpose of not fertilizing here is because there is no active growth at this point in time with this orchid, not because she's in bloom. And because of this kind of orchid, I would still not fertilize when I see this orchid kick into active growth, even if she still has some blooms left because of the type of orchid and its culture that watering too soon would rot out new roots. So based on the examples I just showed you with a little bit of diversity, what an orchid does, is it a complex hybrid? Is it a species as in the case of my little Lelias here? Is it an act of growth, growing roots while it is in bloom? All these little factors need to be taken into consideration to decide whether to fertilize or not. The blooms have nothing to do with whether to fertilize or not. It is the orchid and its active growth pattern that determines fertilization. And the level of fertilization is determined by your environment. I am really, really hoping that all this made sense. This is the way I do it. This is how I decide who gets what when. Thank you, Amelia Skoba, so very much for your question. I hope that this answered it in depth and I hope it was helpful. If what I've just said triggers more questions, please continue to ask away in the comments. I really appreciate your time for watching this video. Have yourself a beautiful day on one condition though. Please stay safe. Take care. Bye.